Israel strikes Jenin City, kills senior Palestinian commander on day three of West Bank raid The Israeli army on Friday struck the West Bank city of Jenin as the fighting continues the third day in the Palestinian territory. The Israeli military said it struck Palestinian militants and killed a senior Hamas commander in the city. The latest Israeli raid in the northern West Bank was the largest and the deadliest since the war began. The Palestinian Health Ministry has said at least 663 Palestinians have been killed in the West Bank since then. Oles Malyarevich, deputy commander with the 92nd Brigade's Achilles Battalion of Ukraine, reports intense fighting in the settlement of Lybok, with Ukraine's armed forces holding the upper hand. He shared this on Espresso TV. We're continuing our operations in the Strelecha, Lybok, Lipsy direction in the Kharkiv region. Right now, there's heavy fighting in Lybok, but the momentum is fully in our favor. Our mission is to liberate Lybok. The Russian forces are desperately holding onto every house, every dugout, pulling in reinforcements wherever they can. They're throwing in their reserves, but since these are small infantry units, they can always be reinforced by nearby troops, Malyarevich explained. According to him, the Russians realize that the border is just seven kilometers from Lybok. If they lose Lybok, they'll retreat to Strelecha, which sits right on the border. This means they'll lose what they captured in May, and the situation could unfold similarly to what's happening in the Kursk region. The deputy commander also mentioned that Russian forces have started shifting some of their reserves from the Kharkiv direction to the Kursk region. This is noticeable on the front line. We've seen a drop in the number of guided aerial bombs. We're seizing this window of opportunity to strengthen our position, Malyarevich noted. The Russians have understood the purpose of the diversionary maneuver in the Kursk region and have not moved their forces from the Pokrovsk direction. On the contrary, they are only reinforcing this area. Perhaps in a week or two, we will see the first battles for the city of Pokrovsk. The Russians are advancing. If they were 50 kilometers away from Pokrovsk in winter, they have now almost reached the city, noted Ivan Stupak, a Ukrainian military expert. According to the military expert, there are questions to the local authorities of Pokrovsk. These issues were first voiced by the military. They observe that in Pokrovsk, the same pattern is repeating as in Bakhmut, Solidar, Avdiivka, Marinka and other cities. Instead of building fortifications, funds were spent on city improvements. As a result, the Russians are getting closer. Stupak emphasized. The role of Belarus in the war in Ukraine is still not clear, writes Frankfurter Rundschau. The country, which is ruled by a dictator, has conducted joint nuclear exercises with Russia, as well as provided shelter to the mercenaries of Wagner Group. The publication reminds, fears that Minsk will actively interfere in the fighting in Ukraine has not yet been confirmed, but the situation could change. Deutsche Well reported. The newspaper Berliner Morgenpost quotes in its article the words of Polish analyst Konrad Muzajka, director of the political consulting firm of Russian Consulting. Muzajka reminds that Minsk held similar exercises in September 2023, but this time the change of territory is alarming. The troops were redeployed to Hommel region, which served as a springboard for the Russian Federation during the attack in 2022. The analyst believes that a direct attack of Belarus on Ukraine is unlikely at the moment. It would require forces, which Belarus does not have, to seize the border areas, some of which are heavily mined by Ukraine. A real attack by Belarus is not to be feared, Mozaika believes, but he voices an option which is feared in Ukraine. 
Belarusian troops could make small strikes and possibly occupy a small part of the Ukrainian territory. This would mean that Kyiv would have to redeploy troops from other fronts, which would weaken the AFU. The probability of such a scenario is low, but it cannot be completely ruled out, the Berliner Morgen Post quoted the analyst as saying. Belarus has deployed aircraft and air defense troops to its border with Ukraine after President Alexander Lukashenko announced he would station almost a third of the country's military along the frontier. The Belarusian military also deployed anti-aircraft missiles and soldiers from the country's Radio Technical Corps, Major General Andriy Lukyanovich, commander of the Belarusian Air Defense Forces, said on national television describing the move as a significant increase. Belarus's authoritarian leader Lukashenko on Sunday